What do you mean, sleeping with Claudia? Oh, yeah. Yeah, to hear her tell it. See, instead of telling everyone about the fact that her father may or may not have attempted to murder her the night before the hearing, Claudia let everybody know in the courtroom exactly how much she enjoyed spending her night with Jason. Okay, uh, Jason, I know you're hurt over Mike with the whole thing, and I know how self-destructive that can well, be. Well, Claudia said is not what happened. Dude, just be careful. You don't live to regret sleeping with that bitch. But you might not live at all. Can somebody tell me what Claudia said? No, oh, Diane, go ahead. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Alexis asked Claudia on the stand right. if Anthony had uh, attempted to murder her the night before the hearing, and instead of answering yes, as we all expected that she would, Claudia announces that she's gone on a date. She plants her eyes squarely on Jason, big voracious smile on her face, without actually ever saying his name. She goes on and on in semi-erotic detail about this big, strong, silent type. He was compelling. He was surprisingly attentive. Glowing review for you, John. Hey, now, Diane, I need to speak to Sunny alone. Well, it, it doesn't matter if you're alone or if you're, if you're in a football stadium. Sonny is feeling particularly paternalistic today. So he's going to wield his mighty sword and lop off the head of your love life. Just like he's done with mine. Because you see, when it all comes down to it, it's Sonny's world, and we are just here to serve in our various capacities. And I guess that's what I get for representing a criminal. Oh. <clears throat> all right. Somebody put a hit on Claudia last night. I ended up saving her. Why? That's when I pulled Claudia out of the car. Somebody started shooting at us. I, I had no choice but to save her. I thought she had information on who shot Michael. I know you know better not to trust her. No, I, I don't trust. I don't like Claudia. And we're sure as hell not dating. That's, that's ridiculous. I hope you know that. Yeah. yeah. There's going to be an ugly power struggle within the Zakara family. And with any luck, they'll take each other out, including uh, Rick and Trevor. I gotta go to the hospital hmm. because uh, Jack's specialists are gonna give us the findings and all. Okay, I gotta got lead on Michael's tour. Yeah, just give me the proof, will you? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, boss. I... We were simply making the most of the few remaining moments we had before you ship Max off to the outer <clears throat> reaches of Puerto Rico. <sighs> okay, Diane. Jason uh, may, you know, may know who the shooter is, okay? So when we take care of the guy, I want you to have an alibi and defense in place. And then maybe, uh, you know, Max can stay where he is. <clears throat> That's blackmail. I don't expect you represent a criminal. Standing in the same room. Shouldn't be here. But I'm part of the Jackal PI investigation team. Oh, gosh, yeah. I, only, I only paused momentarily from finding the Dashley doctor to aid the really blonde one. That... Don't you dare stop doing that. I need to know where the money is. What What money? A million in cash is missing from Kate's operating account. Kate's not my problem. We're trying to find somebody here. Okay? Yes, and we might have an unexpected clue. It appears the missing million from the Fashionista's magazine was wired into an account in the Grand Keys belonging to Ian Devlin. Okay, find out who transferred the money to Devlin, who authorized it, if you made any cash withdrawals, pinpoint where. Now. Okay, but you can do that after you transfer the money back to Crimson, why, right? why are you still here? Were you born this route, or do you practice? This is my career on the line. Okay, you need, you need to go now. Either Spinelli transfers the money back to the Crimson accounts, or I'm going to tell my dad you guys are doing something illegal. Or do you want Kate to fire you? I'll leave. Spinelli. Yes, I will call as soon as I have any more information, okay? I'm sorry, begging the master's pardon. Don't you think your tone with the Max with Maximista was a little harsh? I mean, she was just trying to. Devlin, right now. Yes. The jackal obeys, and no doubt if we find the evil one in Port Charles, we'll take the SUV and track him, right? I managed to slip the tracking device into the dashboard doctor's pants, but I fear it's defective. How'd you get it into his 
Never mind. Why, why, is it, why is it defective? Well, it picked up the nefarious position at the home of Mr. Corinthal, sir. It, it, why would he dare enter there if he was indeed the shooter of the loot? Okay, Kate was at Sonny's last night. All right, she's missing one million from her magazine account right now. There's a million in Devlin's account. You do the math. Yeah, but it has to be a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence. Yeah, but the Queen of Couture would never get mixed up with the Doctor of Doom. Okay, you find him, and we're going to get those answers. Okay, um, Dr. Devlin just made an ATM withdrawal across the Canadian border in a place called Littleton. Okay, let's go. But the Jekyll gets to accompany the Master in the Monmobile? Listen, I need you to clear your head. He is within reach. So cool? Yeah. Uh, Jack will learn something while he was endeavoring to add the initials of PI to his name. Something that might help you with your approach to Dr. Devlin. What, 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 what? what? Le lesson number 16. Keep a clear head while approaching the subject. What's your point? Yeah, you just might want to consider compartmentalizing your anger and, and grief over the little dude shooting, at least until we have irrefutable proof that Dr. Devlin is indeed the shooter. I mean, we wouldn't want to... We wouldn't want our trip to culminate with a, a body in the trunk unless we had answers I to a company. I intend to keep Devlin alive long enough to find out who hired him. 